All right, so before we hop into this video, I do want to let y'all know that the audio on kill side may sound louder, and that is my fault. I, I did not properly do the audio check like I should have, and I apologize for that, but hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome back to another episode of A Quick Minute with Quick, man, and today, long time coming, bro. We've been, bro, we've been working <laughs> on this since, what? Since the Monday interview, honestly, man, we got yeah. the man himself, FTK affiliate himself, Kill yep. Avenue, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the, uh, the, the channel, man. Welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I'm glad to be here. Glad to have you, bro. How you, how your day going so far, man? How's it going? Man, I just got off that early morning grind type shit. Yeah, it's had some nasty ass fucking Olive Garden. But you know, I'm straight right now. I'm straight right now. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I've been to Olive Garden in like years, but. Yeah. Man, that was my first time trying that shit. Really? Man, niggas, niggas told me to. Yeah, niggas told me to. Uh, Cause I fuck with a bitch there. Niggas told me to um, try, try some shit. I was like, alright, I'm gonna see what it is. Niggas said try some shrimp scampi. The chicken scampi. That shit was ass as fuck. Cold ass fucking wet chicken on top of some noodles and shit, man. I was so blow, but yeah. Anyways, man. So music and life, man. Kill Avenue. So I had in the last interview, uh, you know, to piggyback off it, I was talking to uh, Jason about the visuals that you like did. I think you was on top of the roof talking like the the girl had like the bloody face, man. Where, where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy video, crazy. Yeah, man, that was, uh, that was some callback shit, because, like, I love, like, I ain't too straight, I ain't too crazy with it now, but eventually I'm gonna get good with that shit, but I love visuals, I love movies and shit. That shit was a callback to, um, you, you ever seen the movie Carrie? Yeah. Yeah, that was a callback to that shit, like, when she got dumped with, uh, blood on her ass, blood on the bitch at, like, the prom. I was like, when I saw, I seen that shit when I was a jet, and I was like, this shit is so fucking, that shit was so cool, like, and then there was like, I was reminded of that shit, maybe like a year or so back, like, Netflix dropped this show called I'm Not Okay With This, and it was like, kind of like a callback to Carrie, and I was like, damn, you know what, for a good ass visual, I'm gonna do a callback to Carrie on top of some, on top of this hospital building that I took pictures on once before, and that was back for, uh, what should we call it, I take tones on some shit, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I love visuals, man. I love recording shit. I love photography, filming, all that shit. So like, so like, before we like dive into you know the deeper subjects, like, do you actually like see yourself being like a versatile like freelance creator? You know, like with the music, the photography, visuals, all that. Yeah, man. I I never really want to like put myself in no bubble for real. Like, I really want to just like be on the creators on some shit, like. I know niggas be saying that shit, the shit all the time. Like, I really like look up to that nigga again. Be, you know, like the way he does everything with like his full heart and shit. Like that nigga got a top tier media, top tier comedy, top tier music. Like he do all the whole scope of the shit. Like I really want to just like dip my toes, dabble in all that shit. You feel me? Like yeah, I want I want to do all that shit for if I ever get that platform. I'm I'm doing all that. I got like no shit. For sure, for sure. I do want to say, like, in the city, like, as far as, like, the city, bro, I do want to say, like, the FTK Collective, y'all stand out different. Y'all stand out a lot because y'all different with it. And yeah, we're... Y'all, y'all way different with it. But anyways, man, before you, like, before all this, who is Kill Avenue? Like, what did Kill Avenue do before he got into music? Before I got into music, man, Slick, I've been rapping on and off for like a long time. So like before I was doing music, nigga, I was a little nigga in middle school for real. Like I started music like probably my freshman year of high school type shit. Yeah, I was a little nigga in middle school. I wasn't even doing shit before that. I was a little horny ass 13 year old nigga. <laughs> nah, not since I like, I wasn't like... Nah, I started rapping like my freshman year of school. I dropped me like a tiny like, what should we call it, four song tape or some shit. But yeah, I started rapping around my freshman year, and 
yeah, before that, I wasn't really doing much. You know, I was I was a little nigga. You know what I mean? Just trying to get his dick wet out in these streets. You feel me? Like, no car, no whip. 13-year-old, you feel me? Yeah. Facts, 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 facts. Oh, God. All right, so where are you from? Like, are you from Savannah? Uh, My family, we from South Florida. Like, originally, like, I hail from South Florida. My family from, uh, what you call them, like, my family, family, like, heritage. We from the Bahamas. Yeah, originally from, from South Florida. That's my roots and shit. Um, specifically, Miami-Dade County. Not, like, middle of Miami where, like, all the, you know, old niggas and white stripper hoes be living and shit. But, like, south, 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 like, probably 30 minutes from central Miami in uh, Homestead, Florida. Sure, for sure. And, like, how long you lived in Miami if you know? I probably when I was about like eight or nine type shit, then I moved up to Savannah. So like I, I don't really claim like Miami at this point no more because I've lived most of my life here in Savannah at this point. But like I still like roots touch like that's my, that's my crowd. You feel me? That's my family type shit. Cause I don't got no family up here for real. It's all in Miami. So like, do you remember making your first song when you was a little nigga or not? Shit, my first song, shit, my first song was some. My first song was I made on this shitty ass. I think I still got this, this little ass. Let me, I got this shit literally under my setup right here. This little shitty ass white HP laptop. I don't know if y'all know about that, but it's like HP make these little shitty ass white laptops that have like two gigabytes of memory. But um, I made that shit in my closet with some bluetooth headphones and it was a kodak black type beat that shit wasn't even that bad for like looking back it wasn't horrible like it was still ass like ass as fuck <laughs> i think i i think i you go ahead go ahead no nah, no nah, keep talking i think i nah because like i think i said like some corny i said the corniest fucking shit i thought that shit was so tough I think that was like. That's like Edo. Yeah, man. That, hey, man. Nigga, bro, you young and you just say some hard shit. You think? <laughs> and you just look. Back. I was in that bitch like, damn. Streets go fuck with this. Nah, man. That shit was garbage. Nah, oh God. This, oh God. Hey. Man. Real shit, man. But like that shit has never seen the light of day ever. Oh God. That shit is nuked on my Google Drive deep down somewhere. All my shit on my Google Drive. I got like. Every song, pretty much on there. All right, so from Florida, so from Florida, but majority in Savannah, and yeah. first song off the shitty computer. So every artist has their like their old their inspirations for getting into music. Who is your new inspiration? Like, what made you actually want to take it seriously? Man, I've been asked that question before, but there's like so much like tiny stuff that like built up through my life because i feel like every like little black nigga want to be a musician or a basketball star or some like racist type shit engraved in our heads but like there's like so much shit like my family my uncle was cellmates with trick Or nigga that made up. <laughs> that shit. Right, yeah, but like he so like a said, South so Florida said, like legend, so like legendary uncle, ass rapper. So you say your uncle was friends with your uncle? Was yeah, he was cellmates. cellmates. Trick daddy. Trick okay. daddy, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And like, like I, so I was, at that point I felt like I was like always connected to like music in a little bit. And like growing up, like with my stepdad every time I everywhere I was going everywhere I was everywhere we went we was driving the car he would play this like other South Florida artist name was like Mike Smith and, like everywhere we went like he, we was just jamming that nigga it was and then with my mom she would be playing like some like old soulful R&B shit Mr. Telephone Man New Edition Betty White or whatever the bitch name was um and they would always either play that old soul shit Mike Smith Trick Daddy or DMX, my mom was in love with the fucking Fast and the Furious series, and they had that Rough Rider anthem on that shit. She loved that shit so much. So really, on some real shit, it was like Trick Daddy, DMX, Mystical. I fuck with Mystical so tough. Yeah, Mystical. Hard. Um, yeah, Mystical tough. Um, 
and like really anything and then like also like i know like niggas be cornballs with this shit but, like x like xxx like uh-huh. that nigga that nigga was definitely on some uh what you call it, some influential shit for me like, i remember like my first like couple tracks like i was i was on some dick riding shit i ain't gonna hold you I was doing that little screamo rap shit where I was just screaming to the mic trying to do shit. Man, and that shit was fucking garbage. Like it was garbage as fuck. Like as fuck. But yeah, that nigga was my inspiration for me as well. It was a lot of shit. It was a lot of shit. So, right, so I know I, I heard of the Mike Smith because I had seen him like in some like or I was watching like this do- where? some documentary in Florida. You ever heard of Noisy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with uh, Viceland, that's my shit. Bro. Yeah, Viceland. Was, yeah, I love them niggas. They mentioned like a, a Florida legend. He was so he was like a Florida a Florida legend because he was like they were like DJ Khaled, Rick Ross, and like the early like early Miami days, I believe. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Yeah, I I just heard the name. I don't, I ain't really dive into his discography, but that's crazy that yeah because I remember hearing his name. All right, so that's yeah, Mike Smith. Mike Smith stuff as fuck. So that's some of your inspiration as far as music. I'm pretty sure that's not all. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's a it's a wormhole, bro. It's a wormhole, like deep shit. It goes on and on. Okay. All right, so so piggybacking again off what Jason had said. He said what before. Well, he said you was in FTK, but he said before he joined FTK, it was a group called Infinite. Yeah. Were you like, were you also in, I didn't, I, I didn't quite understand it clearly. So it's like, were, <laughs> you, were you in FTK, were you in FTK like by yourself? I created FTK. Okay. So you created FTK. Yeah. All right. And then you met with the niggas from Infinite and y'all just like kind of clicked. Yeah, like they was an infinite. They was they was doing like some tape shit. It was um, what call it? It was that man Monday. Uh, it was Jason the Kid. It was Amir, and it was some other niggas. I don't really, I ain't even to show no fake love. I don't really know them like that. I think his name was like Jamaica Sensation or some yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but that nigga, <laughs> That's I don't, that that nigga. That nigga yeah, that nigga done rapping though. He be on some like crazy ass like Christian terrorism shit now. I don't even know what that nigga on anymore. He, I don't know. Life after high school, they just killed that nigga. Oh, some shit. But um, him and then some other nigga that when we went to school with some tall nigga, they got beef with now. And then um, Capheart. Um, yeah, they would they dropped like a little tape and shit. And I was that was when I was like on like some semi consistent like tape drop and shit. So, um. Go ahead. Did y'all go to like the same school? Yeah, we all went to the same school. Okay. Um, that man Monday was a great lower than us. When I when I first met him, like he, cause I cause I knew his brother. I knew his brother. We would t- we had gym class together, and like he knew me through I, through I guess through his brother, and he found my music, and he, we would just like see each other the halls. You know, he he a little quiet nigga, so he would just be like, hey, yo, what's up? And I'm like, what's up, what's up? He just dab me up with some shit, be like, I'll fuck with you. And I'm like, fuck, uh, yeah, man, thank you, thank you, thank you, type shit. And then I heard some verses on his, um, his shit on one of the Infinite tapes. I'm like, oh, man, this nigga tough. All them tough on some shit, but I was like, yeah, nigga tough. And um, that's how I met Monday. And I already knew uh, Jason the Kid. We had a class together. He wasn't like, on no, like, like, whatchamacallit, like, close shit, but we was, like, semi-cordial. And then I knew Amir from uh, what you call it, middle school and shit like that. Okay, okay. So you went to, so you did say that you like went to middle school and high school here, of course. All right, so like another thing, do you ever get writer's block? Like, do 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 you Bru- ever get that? My nigga, my whole life is writer's block. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. Like every like shit about like every week. It's writer's block. I'm like, I feel like it's either writer's block or me just trying to be too much of a perfectionist. Like, I really got to learn that don't overthink shit. Because I was talking to my nigga uh, Cap Hart the other day about how I just never upload music like that. Like, I, he just he just told me, but like, you got to stop overthinking shit. You just got to let that shit flow out. Like, and that's a real ass shit. Because I'll be like, I'll make probably like three tracks and I'll be like, not nah, a shit ass, scraps. Like, 
have I have like probably like four, five, six, seven albums worth of music that just scrap because I don't think that shit good enough. I don't think niggas fuck with it. That's some real shit. Bro, you crazy, bro. It's a, honestly, it's a lot of niggas that fuck with you. I didn't personally like before before like before I even like like the first member I did meet was my day. So like before I got heavy into the FTK job, I literally used to see oh, like, the uh I literally used to see niggas be posting this shit. I think it was um it was that song Windsor. Windsor that song on Sound. Yeah. Album. Niggas was posting that shit a lot. And I was like, but like, okay, okay. So I was listening to it and I like like I don't know, it's like personally it's like that SoundCloud era, like you know the the prime time of the SoundCloud era. Like, yeah, 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 where it's like it don't it don't hit. Like I be trying to find I be on SoundCloud a lot, so I be trying to find like what artists bring that that like era back to it. Like what artists can like send me back into that nostalgia be like dang SoundCloud is good again. And it's crazy. Word. It's crazy like what you said about like X, you know, him being an inspiration and everything. But it's like he low key did predict the future because it's like Atlanta niggas is running the underground, all right? And it's like they all sound the same. So I do want to give y'all y'all flowers about y'all standing out because it's like it's hard to get into like new music when all these niggas sound the same. Personally, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. But thank you, cuz. Thank you, cuz. Once again, though, like, but once again, so like, FTK, all right, Monday was a quiet kid, Jason was closer, all right. So, when did y'all actually like, like, locked in? Like, how was that when y'all first, like, y'all first locked in and linked as a group? Like, how was that? Y'all remember that? You remember? I that? mean, well, like, we were just like, I don't really know, cuz, like, it was like a, a good bit of us. Like we, but we, most of us went to school together except, uh, what you wanna call it? Artie's Asylum. I met that nigga at, a, at some skating rink or some shit. <laughs> um, yeah, that nigga used to make some, used to be making some, some like me music shit. But I fuck with bro. Um, but we like, like met in school. Like we, we was locked in in school. And then like one day, like on some shit, I was like, you know what? I fuck with y'all shit. But I want to take what y'all doing and have a completely different motion with it. So if y'all want to fuck with me or some shit, y'all can. And I put them on a group chat. I was like, just let me know. It was like, I fuck with the idea. I fuck with the vision. And we all just been clicked up since then. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's good. It's good because it's like, personally, bro, that's, that's kind of hard. It's like nowadays, bro, the groups these days, they're really all about, they're all about the money. Not all about the vision, like what it could be. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like, you said you do get writer block, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Most of your life is writer block. <laughs> so, yeah. So I do want to say like, when you in that mode to make music, right? How yeah. long does it take you to to finish one song? Shit, like. That depends on like how much I really fuck with the track, cause I be bullshitting on features. I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. Send me a little forty ball. I give him like a little thirty minute session. Me just uh, freestyling, you know what I mean? But like, if I really fuck with this shit, like it was probably take me like a good couple, like maybe like a day or two to really like fully fledge. Like, okay, yeah, this is I fuck with this. But if it's like an album, like that shit could go on for months. Like me and me and uh, me and Monday, we were working on this collab tape. This shit's so crazy. We've been like in like locked in for probably about over a month and a half on some shit, trying to make like the shit and like th- this shit, this shit finna pop. Like this shit is like I know niggas be hyping up this shit. Like oh man, this shit we finna drop is crazy. But nah, this is some shit right here. You know what I mean? Like some shit. I'm already knowing. I'm already knowing, bro. Monday crazy. <laughs> Monday, man, shout out to Monday, bro. Because if it wasn't for Monday, I swear to God, bro, Monday is the best. shout out, bro. But all right, so back, back to kill, back to kill. So like, where, where you get the name Kill Avenue from? This all right, so like, this is this is this is a story. Um, like, I was sent to my grandma's house right before my freshman year of high school. 
because I was jumping gates and shit, and then I got, called, I got the police called on me. So I got shipped off to my grandma's shit, and I was stuck um, at her house for the whole summer, like, stealing her phone at night so I could, like, get on Snapchat and talk to my niggas. <laughs> and um, this that was, like, the summer of, whatchamacallit, that was the summer, like, X died. I remember that shit so fucking vividly. I just walked into the fucking kitchen and that nigga, it was like 20 year old rapper, XXX and Haciyan, shot dead. I was like, damn, that's so crazy. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was like June or some shit. That shit was so crazy. And like, I was like, damn, because cause at that point I was already like pondering, doing some shit, because I was like, damn, what the fuck am I finna do in, after high school and some shit? I was already pondering on being a rapper and I was like, damn, you know, like, fuck it, man. One nigga down. down when they up, I'm finna be I'm finna be on some rap shit. And then I was like I, I was telling my nigga um Noah, that's one of my day ones. I'm thinking about being a rapper. Bro was like, What's your name gonna be? And I was like, Yeah, my name is gonna be. And on some shit, my grandma had this D, uh C, DVD of this movie. You heard you, you I, I know you heard of it. It's called Kill Bill. Yeah. Right? And Kill Bill is that shit, my nigga? And that bitch was dropped around like my literal actual like birthday. I was like, Kill Bill, uh, 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 Kill Avenue. Made that shit my username, and now here we are. That's really it. Most sort of shit. That's re- yeah. That's really it. Kill Bill. Yeah. Matter of fact, I, didn't you have a song with the with the lady as a cover? Yeah. Good, ain't it? Yeah, I did. And that shit was my Twitter um header for a long time. I think it still is actually. It's it's the bitch with the uh chain ball. Yeah. Alright, so Kill Avenue, Kill Bill, cool, cool. Are you into like classic movies? Like any you have any favorite movies that you watch? Like classics? I don't really know about like classic movies. I I was I was never really into like watching classic movies or some shit. I don't know. I just never really grew up with it. But like, I do got a couple movies that uh, what should I call it? I fuck with heavy, the uh, stereotypical, you know, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. But I think one of my favorite movies is probably like Kick Ass. Kick Ass is so tough. Kick Ass one of my favorite movies growing up. I just love them. Like, movies where niggas got supernatural powers, but it's like real as fuck. That shit was heavy. That shit was tough as fuck. That and you ever seen Chronicle? No, I have not. Sounds it's like, good, yeah, it's like this movie right? these niggas like touch a rock and they get powers, and it's like found footage type shit. Kind of like Blair Witch Project, but niggas got superpowers. And then like one of the niggas starts going crazy and just start killing niggas on some shit. That shit is so tough. Like if you ain't never seen that movie, I recommend that shit. It's kind of old, so the special effects is like a little shitty on some shit. But this shit is tough as fuck. I recommend you watch it. It's, it's on Netflix, I think. I realize that, like, with a lot of movies, like, definitely. It's, I was like, once the technology, like, advanced, bro, and you go back and watch, like, some old movies, you can see. Yeah. Like, oh, shit, bro. I was like, yeah, you'd be like, ugh. Was going crazy? Like, was I really, like, did I really like this movie, man? Bro, oh, my God. I'd be like, five years back, I was in awe at this shit. Now this shit look fucked up. Like, on some real shit. Bro, bro, God. So, like, motivation when it comes to like like you know you said you get writer's block like most of it you have writer's block okay so like yeah do you have anything that you could just go like you know some people have like their little like getaways to go get some motivation for like their next project or their next yeah generation. like what's what's something that that motivates you man to be honest just living life bro like nothing motivates me more than just like Getting out of the house and doing some shit, just moving around like, like I'm like, my setup is just like, in the corner of my room and it's in the dark, and it, like if I have writer's block, I can't 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 keep just like sitting in this dark ass room rapping. I gotta like go actually do some shit. I gotta go, and like even if it's just like hooping, even if it's just taking a walk in the nature or some shit, I gotta, I gotta go do some shit, and that just sparks my mind or some shit. I think I would, like, it used to be that I cannot record with niggas in the room. Now I find, like, when I'm with niggas, I fuck with heavy on some music shit. I'm, my writing process comes out way easier. 
So, yeah, that's really it, to be honest. So, basically, like, so basically, like, you think, I hear a lot of people do, I hear a lot of people say this, but it's like, they say, like, when, like, the room is just clear, and it's only, like, them, and maybe the producer there, I guess, they say they just yeah better, the, the approach on the track, and, like, the, all uh, just the way that they uh, attack it, it'd be way better than when it's, like, a, or a room full of people, so, like, yeah, if it's a room full of niggas that's, like, that I don't fuck with, like, if it's, like, maybe, like, one or two niggas in the room, like, I was in, this, I was, uh, in a session at my nigga Amir house, like, maybe, like, a week back, we record there, like, 99% of the time, and it was just me, him, and Monday, and yeah, I was coming up with some crazy fucking bars, some, like, double entendre, triple entendre type shit, yeah, but if it's, like, one or two niggas, yeah, I'm out reworking, I, that's when I'm at my best, because I feel like I got something to prove, and these niggas, like, let me show you how hard I can spit, you feel me, like, type yeah. shit. That's how I be, that's how I be, like, with- Quoting it, like, let me, let me show these niggas what I really could like. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think this dog, damn, let me show y'all something. But yeah, you, 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 you really gotta drop your nuts. Like, you niggas think I'm weak? Let me show you what I really can do. You feel me? Like, you yeah, some shit. Hey, hey, bro. So, like, so when you doing, I, I never really understood, like, how, like, collab really works with the music shit, right? You said yeah. you Monday got a little tape coming. Right? Yeah. So do y'all like link? Were y'all like physically linking up for like a month straight, rocking it? Man, we just I call that nigga up, baby. Like, hey, baby, I'm trying to fuck on some shit. And nah, nah, <laughs> I just like. Well, a lot of times we'd be corded up, like on Discord. Yeah. But like for the last, cause I told him with this tape, I want this shit to be a slow cook. I don't want to be like first seven tracks we make. Oh, that bitch on the album, and that's it. We kicked that bitch out. I was like, nah, we finna really slow stroke this shit for a long time or some shit. But like the last, cause I'm about to be leaving soon for for, uh, for college in Atlanta and shit. You probably heard that from uh, Jason the Kid. I thought Jason. But, damn, so you leaving too? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn. So I was like, damn, cause I leave in like in like two months. What so I was like, you? damn, we gotta we gonna join Georgia State, middle of Atlanta. Hey bro, uh, like I told Jason, bro, you hear that when you get in, go to Atlanta, bro. Just let me know. I'm mm, know. Yeah, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to connect up. I'll plug y'all in, bro. Let me know, bro. Let me know, bro. Hit that, hit that, hit that DM, baby. On some real shit. I got you, I got you. But, but yeah, um, last three days actually before this interview, like I just been taking this nigga over to my, to my house, to my studio, and we just been locked in, getting shit done. Getting, we got a good chunk of the tape now. We got like two, three more songs. And then we'll have the final like skeleton of the project. We'll go to a studio downtown. Shout out to them niggas 912. Oh, God. my nigga. Uh, uh, yeah. Tim, what a why you got Celine Big Green. Yeah, shout them, shout out to them niggas. Yeah, them my boys. Them shout my out boys. Richie. Oh, God, Richie. Yeah, shout out Richie. Yeah. Shout out Richie, man. Me and Richie, though, man. Me and Richie, we be, we be having our little debates. <laughs> Richie be saying some, <laughs> saying some off the wall. Bro thinks, he think Autumn and Pierre is just the goats. I'm like, yo. <laughs> yo, like, we just going to forget about Cardi and, and come on. But, yeah, uh, yeah man. Nah. I definitely feel like, if I if I ever, I don't think I'm going to actually do like, that rap job, but if I ever did do that rapping job, I would go to 912 for sure. Because they, yeah, they, they vibes is just crazy. Yeah, man, they supportive as fuck, man. Shout out yeah. them niggas. Shout out 912. Because, like, we kind of, not, not even going off track, but it's like, when we're not, you remember the fashion show, like, the Off the Wave shit? Yeah, Off the Wave, yeah. yeah man. Shout out Josh. Shout out Josh from Off the Wave. Oh God, hey, he the go too. Hopefully, hopefully I secure a spot. If I secure a spot, I'll be happy. But, um, <laughs> but what I was saying, bro, uh, Celine was, like, freestyling, bro, and this nigga Tim in the back, the, God, straight put he the loudest, the loudest nigga on top pushing his nigga, bro. That's the type of support that we need, that we need on the city for sure, though. Cause like, yeah, man. Like, so Everybody lifts each other up for real. I feel like, I feel like, like when it comes to support, some niggas just be scared of what other niggas gonna say to you supporting the nigga, but it's like, bro, come on, man. come on, man. Ain't nothing wrong with supporting the nigga, nigga for real, like. Yeah, man. 
there. That's how I feel about like the city. Yeah, man. This is the city too small to not just connect with everybody for real. But back to what we were saying, right? <laughs> facts, 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 facts. All right, man. So, so, take like I, I asked Monday, I asked Jacy, the, mm. the FTK tape, the FTK tape, kid. Listen, man. listen. <coughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm shaking my hands right. Listen, bro, cause like rubbing my hands, cause bro, I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to go steal the hard drive myself. I listen, trying, man. Listen, man. Monday, I be like, listen, <laughs> bro. I will come and take the hard drive. Just drop, bro. Like, come on. Like, what? What? What's the tape looking like? Like, how are we going about this? Thing? Man, listen. We've been we've been talking about getting the tape together for like the like since the start of the group and it's like we all got songs together like i don't want to speak on it too heavy we all got songs together for shit I, it, it comes to a point where it's like it's a lot of niggas in this group and a lot of niggas be like going through shit in life that nigga already's a sound i don't want to air his business out too bad but that nigga got some sh- shit something with some with the, with the uh, some legal shit going on right now oh, and like that nigga never records, bro. Shout out, shout out him though. You know what I mean? He be going this shit. I fuck, yeah, I fuck with, bro. Nah, when Artie do drop, Artie, Artie, I don't, I don't, yeah. I haven't heard about Artie. Man. That nigga ceiling is high as fuck. That that nigga got a crazy ceiling, but he be going through shit. So we don't really press him too much. And that man Capheart, let's say you think Monday got like a lot of unreleased shit. That nigga Capheart has a one terabyte band lab full of music, man. On some shit. But like it's gonna, but that shit gonna come out eventually. We all finna drop us a tape or some shit together eventually. We just gotta make sure we it's a stage where we all got our heads like tightened. I don't know swivel right now. It's gonna drop eventually. I don't want to speak on it too heavy, but it's a sl- it's a very slow cook for real. Speak on it, man. You gotta. I don't want to. I don't want to speak on it, gang. I don't want to speak on it, gang. All right. Okay. I see. I understand. Look out! Look out! So I remember, I remember like uh, before, I want to say what it was like October last year. I think yeah, you, like you had like some trouble. Go- yeah, man. All right, so <laughs> I always, I always wanted to know the story. If you don't mind telling the story, I wanted to know what was going, what was happening, like what's going, what's going on. I was curious. So. <laughs> Like back back then, I don't work there no more. I don't say where I work at now. I don't like niggas knowing like my current dealings and shit. But like back, it was like a while ago. I used to work at Sam's Club, right? Uh-huh. And like I was a cart nigga, and I was a cart nigga because the shit was sweet. Like I got paid fifteen to basically just sit there and drag the carts back in when niggas was like coming coming in from the store. And like, but on top of the fifteen. I was working in like a very like affluent ass area. You know Pooler. Yeah. It's a Sam's Club in Pooler. It's a very I like rich nigga said because around Savannah Quarters, like niggas got big ass house out there. Yeah. And niggas would drop their wallets all the fucking time. Like at least once a week a nigga was dropping a wallet. You know me, the upstanding citizen I am, I would pick those wallets up and turn them in. But before I turn them shits in, I took every dollar out that bitch. You feel me? But <laughs> but yeah, I was I was running that shit up. Like, it was sweet. It was sweet as fuck. Like, I was running that shit up. Because most niggas would be like, oh, man, somebody took the money out my wallet. And just going about their lives. Like, I probably made, like, probably, like, close to, like, maybe, like, 1200 off just gunning niggas' wallets. And, like, eventually, one nigga... One nigga, I, I remember that shit so clearly. It was like maybe like two months prior to October. On I, I, I cannot think of what month. August or something. Oh, it was August, yeah. It was August, and I gutted a nigga's wallet like at the end of my shift at night. And he left it in like a what you call it, one of them little electric rolling scooters. Uh-huh. I opened that bitch up. I was like, all right, what we got here? What we got here? A little hundred and twenty. 
I scoop and I turn that bitch in. You know what I mean? And like I would I went on about my shift. And then like he came and found you. two Yeah, he, he came back to the store. Like later, like when I was clock when I was leaving, I already had clocked out. I was walking with my nigga. And he was like such first watch with the trash can and shit. He didn't know what shit is. I just never I just never like gave it gave it any attention or thought about it again. And then like three months later, no, two months later, in October, right before my birthday on some shit, I get a fucking arrest warrant in the mail. <laughs> that nigga somehow found me out. Like, I got the arrest warrant in the mail. They said they had video footage of me gunning a nigga's wallet. I was like, damn. Bro, damn. <laughs> And I, I don't want to, and I can't really, I don't really want to say much else. I don't think he's going to, whatchamacallit, um, refile, but I basically, I got out of that charge, you feel me? That's all I'm going to say. I'm a guy, I got out of that charge. I, I, I could have got a misdemeanor, theft, misdemeanor petty theft, and they was trying to get me on, uh, whatchamacallit, I think it's not fit. I think it's a federal charge because they was they thought I took his credit card. I took a picture of his credit card because once you like once you like, once you fuck with niggas' credit cards, that's like considered identity identity theft. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm already knowing how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, but I slipped out that charge a little, a little. My lawyer hooked me up. You <laughs> feel me? Yeah, I got out of that shit. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's good to hear, bro. That's good to yeah. hear, man. All right, so like as far as um. As far as like how we put it, like experience with this music stuff, like do you mix and like engineer everything like yourself? Like do you do all that yourself? Because there's a lot of artists that say like it's it's money efficient to just learn how to do that shit yourself. Like oh yeah, bro, for real. Like there's I not one see, thing. I see niggas charge like twelve hundred. Like they was like the industry charged like twelve hundred and they was charging like five hundred for a mix and engineer. I'm like, oh yeah, hell no, nah, bro. What the fuck? I'm like, yo, niggas is niggas taxing, bro. Yeah, that's that's some that's some bullshit. That's more than I'm making. Like, that's more than I make. That's all you need to know. Like, that's yeah, that's that's too much. <laughs> but nah, I'm 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 a big supporter. Just like if if a nigga can learn it, you can learn it too. Like. Mixing it like I'm not gonna say mixing it hard, but like if I know if I see like a, some nigga can do that shit and niggas are paying for it and I can just learn how to do that shit on YouTube, I'm gonna just learn how to do that shit on YouTube. Yeah, I mix my own shit. I learn how to edit and shit. I learn how to edit. So like only thing I haven't learned in this music shit that I need to know is probably Photoshop. But I got my I'm gonna learn that shit eventually too. Yeah, where right. put me on person. As a, as a clothing and graphic designer, bro, Photoshop is the most. Bro, you'll spend damn near. If you, like me, bro, I spend damn near like six months trying to learn. And I Man, still, that shit is. And I still don't got it because it's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit, bro. Like, if you if you good at Photoshop, you're but like you're you're a different bit like bro i did like six months of youtube classes photoshop and i still suck at it like like that's why like like most of my designs bro like most of the designs i make yeah i do yeah i do it first i do i draw it out and then you know i fill it in then i take it to photoshop and you know try to edit, try to make it chop it up yeah yeah try to enhance it a little bit. so yeah but, yeah, man. Photoshop. That's the only thing stopping me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, man, it's stressful, man. Yeah, man. Like niggas be doing crazy shit at Photoshop. Mix the way to be mixing images and shit. I don't know how to do all that. Yeah. But like Photoshop is the only thing that's stopping me from fully diving into that clothing brand shit. Cause I told you, man, we forgetting everything, man. Yeah. Man, we 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 we, we coming for you, Perk, man. We coming for you, man. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, bet, bet, bet. So, like, I did see, um, like I said with Jason, uh, y'all were supposed to perform at Poke Palooza, bro. 
Yeah, man, that shit was. The whole the whole gang was supposed to be there performing. Yeah. Everybody, pretty feel, much. How did you feel, like after hearing the news about it happening? Because how did you feel? Bro? That shit was depressing. Cause like I I just watched Jason the Kid interview um yesterday. Like he said the right shit. Like if you was looking at like the light ratio, I know them niggas deleted that shit, but like. You can look at that shit now, actually. Go through um, no, Island I, Breeze I told, or Pope. Like, I seen it because, listen, I, I told him, like, the young, the, young, the young niggas got the motion because them young niggas in school. Yeah. The young, the young niggas know the other young niggas that know the young, you know what I mean, the young young females. And, like, yeah. the young niggas got money to do that. So they gonna come out and support niggas they fuck with. Yeah, niggas actually give a fuck about us. Like, them niggas getting one, two likes. The app, the least amount of likes I seen on that Pope Palooza teen shit was like 27, bruh. And the most I seen on the adult shit is like three, my nigga. Like, three? Niggas was getting like 79, 80 likes on the fucking teen shit. And niggas was getting, and the most niggas got was three on the adult shit. Like, like, literally, bro. Like, I don't know why they did that, bro. That shit was. I feel like I was. Um, another thing I had seen y'all had like Jason was like y'all had y'all I remember y'all said something about the um the like house party shit was it, it was like around yeah. my I think it was August the tenth y'all supposed to do it right? yeah yeah it was around my birthday oh shit well what happened oh okay 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 oh, so what what happened I remember it was around my birthday and uh yeah so like was it really like rushed. On some real shit, it was just a lot of like, like interior group problems. It was just a lot of button heads on planet wise. We could have got it done, but you know what I mean. We just, I don't know, man. We young, so we 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 butt heads a lot. We fuck with each other heavy. When you fuck with each other heavy, you fuck. You have a group of niggas, yeah, like, like brother, fuck yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. So like, you know, be anyway. It was also a couple of financial like strains and shit, but other than that, yeah, that was really it. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. Like I get like after seeing that shit cancel, like that's fucked up, bro. And I was really like trying to find like a place to like rent out and like advertise that shit so niggas could just come. Cause I know you niggas. They made y'all like you know, even though y'all got your money back, it's like the fact like damn, like I'm gonna pay my money for this shit, bro. Like nigga, this nigga's damn, bro. That's lame. They should have just gotten a stiff arm, bro. Yeah, for real, for real. But it's all right. It's all right. Hopefully, like, like I said, when you go to the A, bro, it's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's gonna be good. So, with the performing, the house party shit. So, not saying that we about to wrap it up right now, but do you, where do you see yourself? In five years, like with the career and everything that you got going on right now, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Man, I told myself already in two years, I'm gonna be almost, almost there. So, in three years, I'm gonna be almost there. So, in five years, if I ain't where I'm supposed to be, I'm blowing my brains out on the Empire State Building with three crack whores. Oh, God. But I know I'm gonna be there. So you ain't gotta worry about it. That's good. Yeah. We ain't gotta, we ain't gotta worry about what, what we ain't gotta worry about that. We ain't gotta worry about that. That's what's up. That's what's up. So next, real shit, real shit. So next all you basically just see yourself there. Good following and all that, right? Yeah. I ain't gonna be on no Drake level, but it was gonna know me. I'm gonna be on I'm gonna be on my shit. You never know. You never know, man. You never know. I don't even I don't even wanna be on no Drake level shit. Like, I I wanna I wanna I wanna still be able to Walk around the mall or some shit. You know what I mean? I want to be on like some... Percy, bro. Niggas know me. Yeah. Not Tyler, the creator shit. Uh, I don't know, man. What's a rapper that really go unnoticed in public places? Like... Shit, I don't know. Like, Big Sean? <laughs> <laughs> bro. You know I, mean? I don't know. Is Big Sean trash? I was talking about this shit earlier. Big Sean trash, bro. Be, be honest, bro. 
Like, if, if I saw a Big Sean in public, I would just walk by that nigga. Like, you could point to any nigga, and that pretty nigga looks like Big Sean. Big Sean is a very average-looking-ass nigga. So I'd say, like, Big Sean, you feel me? Like, if you were a super fan, you'll probably be like, hey, yo, that's Big Sean. But you like some rap normal nigga, and then you'd be like, you don't know that nigga. Hey, man, turn on that Big Sean. Like, nigga, what? <laughs> Right. Shit. It's like, have you ever been in a car in that type of situation? Like, niggas just, like, niggas be, like, turn on some irrelevant ass nigga, bro. Yeah, man, I, man, uh, I'm trying to think. I feel like there was a situation like that the other day. Some nigga said, what was that nigga? I don't even know. But some, I, I, was, in, I was in the car with my nigga the other day. He was playing some nigga that's, like, underground but i really don't fuck with him that tough because some underground niggas just like niggas fuck with him and i just don't see it like i really don't see it it's a like lot, it's a lot of niggas like that I, I don't i don't man no offense niggas you don't no offense do what you do my nigga but these niggas be on dick like i ain't gonna lie these niggas be on mm. they the like, dick cr- Hey man, dick riding is a real pandemic on God, for real. Bro, I, shit. Met, like, bro, I don't know, man. Listen, I'm just, I'm just the person who interviews this, bro. I just be watching, I just be peeping the scene, bro. <laughs> like it's crazy. Bro. Yeah, if... Real man, real man. So, wait, wait, back, back to the car situation. You said the nigga in the car, then was gonna be exposed. Yeah. It was, I don't even like, that shit is like blanking in my head. It was some underground nigga that I don't fuck with for real. I don't even know who. Alright, alright, let's be honest, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be honest real quick. Do you think? It was September's Rich, that's what it was. Oh, he's uh, <laughs> He's nah, busted, man. baby. <laughs> No, September, September's rich. He, he, he just, bro. I just feel like he not bad. He just, he just got caught up in that Yeet shadow. That's what happened. Yeah, it's just it feels like I'm listening to Yeet, but, it's but yeet. something's wrong. <laughs> it's not Yeet. <laughs> it's not Yeet, man. It's it's Yeet. It's Yeet's disabled cousin, man. Shout out, shout out, September's rich, bro. If you wanna come on the if you wanna come on the podcast, come on, bro. But <laughs> hey man, get yeah. I feel like you ain't give yourself, a little perk out, man. He ain't, he ain't give us he ain't give himself like no, no room to grow, honestly, bro. Cause he just picked up off me personally. That's yeah. Cool. But I mean, at some point you gotta just shift yourself. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like look at like like look at uh Can Can Summers and Autumn. Like you know what I mean? At one yeah. point, all the niggas sounded the same, but it's like the niggas branched off. You know what I mean? That's what September's rich need. Personally. Gotta evolve, dog. Personally. But anyways, though, man, chill. Before we wrap it up, right? Before we wrap it up. Mm. How soon? How soon are we getting new music? Hey, man. When I, after, I done, after I'm done locking in on this shit, that's what y'all getting. Because this shit is a masterpiece on fucking, like... I'm putting my heart and soul into this shit. This shit, me and Kale, this shit, me and that Monday doing this fucking masterpiece, man. Um, solo shit wise, you know what I mean? Yeah, look out, you feel know I me? Mean? Look out. <laughs> all right, all right. But so- we'll focus, we'll focus on this tape, man. We finna do a fat ass media push. This shit don't get no traction. Man, I'm making a call. Have some. <laughs> Some shit getting, some shit gonna happen. You know what I mean? Bro, you should just like, when they do drop, bro, run the ad on Insta, bro. Tell me. Yeah, man, I'm running ads on Insta, I'm running ads on that's YouTube. Work, put, put that bitch on the billboard, get that bitch tattered on some white hoes. I don't even know, man. We doing everything. Hey, hey, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about like doing that. Getting, a getting your name tattered on a white hoe? Yes, bro. <laughs> or a logo on it, bro. I think, I think, bro. Next, motherfuckers come. Fuck with that, cause my folks gonna fuck with that, cause that shit is just wild. It's just, uh, like, real, man. So like, alright, so 
do you have like a favorite what's your favorite song you ever like you ever made? My favorite song ever like that's the, my favorite song i ever made yeah. I don't even. I think it was it's probably it's probably Windsor, man. I fuck with Windsor so tough. I, every time I listen to Windsor, I, I really think I did that for real. Windsor, huh? Yeah, but like half and half. It's either Windsor or half and half. Half and half was like that song that like first like started getting like views for like the first song like like whoa 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 niggas actually like fuck with me some shit like niggas actually like listen to my shit so probably like half and half of the memories and when's your actuality well i'm so glad you just said that man because I'm, I'm glad you said that because whole time i already had both of them. whole time man whole time i got a book pulled up bro <laughs> I got them both pulled up for you. Man. So, so you on the block right now. You got to pick. Which one we going to end the show out on? Windsor? Or half and half, bro? You got to. Which one is it? Man. Half and half, man. Go ahead, throw on half and half, man. All right. So, half and half, man. So, so this is saying Kill Avenue, favorite song he ever made is half and half. That's that's what you're saying right now. Big Bird, man. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah, that's the hey, that's, that's, what the that's what he's saying. All right, man. So half and half by Kill Avenue, man. We about to go ahead and end it out on this, and we'll do the outro. Yes, sir. After we done listening to the song, man. Enjoy the tune. <laughs> Checks deposit. Uh, yeah. Want a bitch that came up out the closet. Yeah, that came she said she'll fuck me like a porn star if I want it. If I want it. Bitch, come throw that ass right here and I'll hop on it. I'll hop on it. I'll hop. Story change, let that 40 bang. Make him tuck his chain. Pussy lame. How she know my name? Oh, cause I hit that stain. Fuck him up. Pull we wet him up. My boy be hitting runs. Skirting up. Turn that ass to dust. I told him buckle up. Feel like 44. Right across my back if you with dead. If you with that action, drop that Addy, you know I clap back. Bitch with color hair, she brownsy on my brothers, I hit that. I want VVs, not no average nigga. Bitch, come look at my tats. Bitch, come look at my racks, no hit to give a cataracts. Yeah, I did that. Nick from the back, my video cap, three blunts on his gat like, hey bitch, huh? I came over, suck this dick. I can't do no wife and shit. You on my block, my snipe your shit like. Mm. How you gon' bite like a dog, but you buy like a but pussy? You Yo, bitch, not faithful, boy. I could just hit her in no time, so nigga, don't push her. Yeah, Having that fill in my cup, it's a story, but I made the boy freeze like he would. Like, baby, I'm proving myself with these tapes so these niggas can book me. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, I was like, cause I was like, damn, fifteen k plays, bro. That's 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 crazy. Yeah, man, that shit amazes me to this day. We gonna get we gonna get bigger though. We gonna we gonna elevate above that shit. Bigger, bigger, bigger. All right, man. So we are wrapping it up, man. This is the end of the episode with your boy. It's quick. We had Kill Avenue come through today, man. Yes, very, sir. This, y'all know this was a very long time coming. We've been talking about Kill Avenue for <laughs> damn near a year now, honestly, bro. But hopefully, man, like I said, like I said, like like the next time we like do do an episode, bro, I want to be there physically. I'm gonna have the setup and everything. It's just the whole SK and me, bro. Very cool. Very cool. Excited, bro. So, anyways, man, before we do end out, you have anything you want to say, Kill? Any, any last words? Like, 
Um, if you are in the Savannah area and you have a big, fat, wet, oiled up ass, hit my line. Fucking seven on Instagram. F U I C I N G S V N. Um, I am STD free, and I love Ebony Woman. Thank you. That is it. <laughs> I will leave the links below in the description if you do want to go and if you do have them uh what is called them attachments on yourself or wait not the attachments or the uh god dang features yeah, the features. you got them features bro I'm gonna leave my man's link in the description like below literally hey, man but um shout out perk shout out yeah, that's, that's... Jason shout out Monday shout out niggas FTK, man. The goat, man. The goat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is literally the you for this. This is literally like the just the you for Savannah, bro. Because I don't see no other collectives like this. I don't know if y'all want to be labeled as a collective, though. A family. Family. Brotherhood. We collectively getting money, my nigga. Oh, God. Stack it up, man. You already know. Anyways, though, man. This is the end. This is the end. The whole. The whole goddamn. Uh, the whole goddamn. Podcast, honestly, man. Well, we'll have, we got we got uh well some last minute announcements. We do got another episode coming. We got two more episodes coming in with uh a graphic designer and another artist, and that's like we'll probably end off like on episode ten with like a special. I don't know. I'm gonna have like different people on that. I just gotta make that happen. But anyways, though, man, it's your boy. It's quick. Your boy Kill, and we are out. Appreciate y'all for. Watching the video. I put that in this there. Man, we enjoying the essences of life. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all just woke up on the way to work, whatever the case may be. Just know I'm somewhere enjoying the essence.